flavor ban. The FDA is putting an end to most flavored e-cigarettes starting next month. It's all part of an ongoing effort to get them out of the hands of teenagers. NBC Connecticut's Jamie Ratliff has reaction. And there's a lot of people that depend on vaping to get off the cigarettes. And Dave Dooling, owner of Whiff and Puff in New Britain, says he knows many who went from smoking to vaping to nothing at all. But says with e-cigarettes regularly making the news, the drop-off in business has been severe. And we'll probably close up. Still, Dooling supports raising the age to 21 and the new move by the FDA. The agency is banning flavors for cartridge-based e-cigarettes, leaving only menthol and tobacco, and not impacting flavors for vape tanks. The president of American Vaping Association Association and advocacy group says it'll result in more adults smoking. What are they going to do when the flavor that has kept them off of cigarettes is no longer available? Are they going to go to an open system, move to a tobacco flavor, or are they going to go back to smoking? But Dr. J. Craig Allen, vice president of addiction services for Hartford Healthcare, says the ban has the potential to lower the number of kids using e-cigarettes. And there have been some studies that show up to 80 percent of adolescents that start experimenting and using these vapes and e-cigarettes do it because of the lure of these flavors. The 2019 National Youth Tobacco Survey revealed more than 5 million middle and high schoolers currently vape. The FDA says their ban is meant to balance public health concerns of children using them with adults who may try to vape to get away from cigarettes. Allen says studies show many don't stop one for the other. More than 60 percent of them end up using both, so getting more nicotine than they were in the first place. Jamie Ratliff, NBC Connecticut News.